Hey Pisces, welcome back to the channel. Let's see what is on your person's mind when it comes to you and your connection this week. Let's jump in guys. Let's see whose energy is the strongest. Y'all know all my readings are meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know about your person and your connection. If that doesn't happen with this reading, you could check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You could check that one out. See if I pick up energy there. It's for my Pisces. Let's jump in, guys. Let's see what's going on with your person. Where is the focus? Bring it to us, please. What's on your mind? What's on your mind? Bring it to us, Pisces. So pop. We've got sacrifice. Sacrifice for love must give up something painful decision. Ooh, somebody's feeling like there's a sacrifice. Either they're having to make a sacrifice or you are. Let's get into the tarot. We're using um Dreamkeeper's tarot for my Pisces. Get this shuffled up better, guys. Sacrifice, making painful decisions. Could be both of you uh, having to make a painful decision. Pop. We've got Ace of Swords. Oh, wanting to get the victory, but also our way of thinking. Wanting to win, win on this. It's a card of triumph. Yeah. Ow. And then the Tower card. Tower card. Tower card is about obstacles, but divine intervention, obstacles being removed, challenges being removed, and you know it brings in a sudden change in energy. Then we have a six of swords. Ooh, somebody might be traveling or something with this one, guys. Mm -hmm. But the six of swords is a rite of passage. It's moving away from a storm, going to a new horizon. The rite of passage means that, uh, you know... You're carrying the experience with you. It's been painful, but you're ready to move away from that. Let's come in on the Ace of Swords. Let's see what they're saying. Ace of Swords. Got the Moon card. Pisces. There's your, your major arcana card. But it's also subconscious fears. And uh, sometimes it can have us holding things in the shadow of ourselves. Not revealing... Um, deeper feelings and thoughts with each other four of swords is coming with it getting clarity giving it a breast a break needing a break from something let's see what they're saying about the tower card Ooh, tower 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 Ooh, knight of wands oh guys the knight of wands is sagittarius energy it's an you know an energy of expanding your horizons things like that but choosing to go in a new direction and movement guys actual movement is somebody trying to make a decision about some kind of travel or something let's see what's under the six of swords here oh, we're getting two on it We've got King of Swords, Aquarius, overthinking, being strategic, and having to follow logic and not our heart. And it has to do <clears throat> with money. Capricorn, Queen of Pentacles, stableness, uh, making hard choices, uh, painful decisions. So, yes, yeah, somebody is definitely worried about having to make a, a decision that that is based in on... Um, the foundation taking care of business so to say it could be career money anything like that there's movement actual movement travel something like that this one would be like a new career new job uh, something that they have to they're having to go in a, a direct you know a certain direction mm, and it, they're worried about you know it's a sacrifice making a sacrifice for love let's see what that tower moment is i want to see what the tower is for them bring that out for my pisces person Ooh, yeah building confidence a new beginning uh pop hang on we got more here going in a new direction trying to build their confidence on that and then the queen of wands energy Ooh, tell me about the queen of wands energy following where this queen this queen is taking them uh, so yeah mm. tell me about the queen of wands more energy on that oh patient but impatience a lot of frustration 
I, so yeah, something has changed that's that's really in circumstances or something where this person's having to choose a, a new direction. This could be they've lost a job, they something. It was sudden. It was a change, but it's also at the same time because it's the Tower card. Even though it's brought in that sense of destruction <laughs> the collapsing of something it's also brought in opportunities for blessings that's what the tower card always does it's uncomfortable but uh once the dust of that um tower falling and collapsing settles there's where your blessings are and and it takes you in new directions and and unleashes you it, the things that used to hold you back I no longer hold you back. Yeah, it's a big time opportunity. This person is, they're hesitant about going in this new direction, but they're also worried because they would be holding you in that Queen of Wands, uh, Pisces. They're holding you as that Divine Feminine Aries energy of trying to read your energy. And they may be seeing from you that you might be questioning and can we work through this? Am I patient enough to work through this? Will we make it through this? That kind of thing. Is it worth it? Uh, they may be picking that up off of you, which is which is the pain making painful decision. So yeah, I'll see what they want to tell me on the Ace of Swords. Oh pop, that was quick. Ooh, Ace of Swords. We're getting the fates. The fates. That's the wheel of fortune. Things are are changing. The ups and downs of things, but also getting lucky. And the Hermit card, doing some introspection, that's Virgo energy, unnerving them uh, in that sixth house on their energy of doing what you need to do, but balance, you know, because Virgo energy is about being in service to, to others, but also taking care of yourself. Let's see what else is going to come out on that right here. Ten of Pentacles doing what they need to do to build that legacy. Yeah, and but also at the same time worried about uh, the long term, uh, how this affects the decisions they are making, how it's going to affect your connection. Let's jump into the decks. Let's see what they would like to say. Let's see what deck they want to talk with. And oh my goodness, you're getting the Big Mama deck. Yes, you are. We're going to do both sides of it, guys. Let me get some energy on it for my Pisces and their person. Pisces. Let's get this shuffled up just a little bit better than that, y'all. Okay, let's go with it. Get control of it. Big Mama is a Big Mama deck. I love the way you kiss me. <laughs> Let's talk about anything that's not stressful. Yes. What else? Talk to us. Pop. I love the connection we share. You're unforgettable. Mm. I'm worried that you've moved on and that you don't want me anymore. That you will move on and don't want me anymore. What else? There is more to come for us, but first, I have things I need to take care of. Yeah, whatever that movement is, that Six of Swords energy. I know you deserve better than what I have been giving you. I'm scared of what's ahead. What if you finally see I'm not good enough for you? Ooh, there's that dread. Mm -hmm. Things will change soon. Keep talking to us, Pisces person. I promise I will give more time and attention to our connection. Mm -hmm. I almost hate you for making me love you so much. Oh, I almost hate you for making me love you so much. Ooh. I would turn my back on any that would put you down. I got your back. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Everything is falling apart. It feels like everything is falling apart. What the hell are you waiting for? Oh my goodness. And please try to understand how I feel. Let's do one more shuffle on this side and then we'll move to the next one. Pop. I feel like I'm living my life for everyone else. There's another one standing. I hope you feel the same. What does that mean? 
I feel like I'm living. I hope you don't, Pisces, feel like you're living your life for everyone else. Oh, here's what they're hoping you'll feel the same. You are my other half. It's a part of me that is missing. Hold the energy on this deck. Let's go ahead and rotate the message deck. Get on the top of this side. It's for my Pisces. I'm a Pisces person. Let's do a better shuffle on it than that. Let me get it. Until it feels right, guys. Ooh, okay. We'll take it there. Talk to us. Pop. My friends say that I fall for it too too easily. <laughs> money problems, yes, money problems. What else? Just a text from you is enough to put a smile on my face. My heart is hurt and bruised, but I won't give up. We were getting to here. In time, in time, I can't stop imagining all the things I want to do to you in time. <laughs> Ooh. I wish we talked more. What else? What else? Anything else? Yeah, pop. I'm tired of being played. Being played, that's not in relationship, guys. That's that's something else. That's something else. Uh, another area of their life, maybe career, something like that. I'm tired of being played around, you know, just jerked around, used, used, <laughs> yes. I don't know how to prove my love and loyalty to you. Oh. Anything else with this deck? Yeah, pop. My passion is burning so strong that I can't take it. I can't take it. Oh, my goodness. Hold the energy on this deck. Guys, let's see if there was anything else they needed to bring out with the tarot. It's Pisces person. Is there anything? Yeah, there's something on the bottom here. Oh, high priestess. Ooh, let's see what's going on with the high priestess. Because that's intuitiveness. But also holding back, maybe. Temperance. Temperance. Doing out of patience. Please have patience with me. Woo, hang on. What else? Bring it out, bring it out. I'm battling. I can't, I'm battling. Yeah, that's the wounded warrior, the nine of wands. It's also an indication that somebody's pushing through on making a hard decision. With this, with this high priestess, what, what I'm really hearing is that they feel like you've got that energetic, intuitive connection, a real connection, deep connection with each other. They're hoping for that patience because, like I said, they were picking you up on that seven of pentacles of patient but impatient. Over here on the high priestess, clarifying it, we got a queen of swords, Libra energy, bringing in that balance, thinking things through. Oh God, they could with that one. They can they they would be saying, "I can tell you you you're uh, might be upset a little bit." Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> Knight of Cups, Pisces, that's you, and holding back a little bit, holding back on um, <clears throat> some of your emotions. They may be sensing that. Um, you're going a little bit cold on them or withdrawing and more in your head uh, and hold, uh, hiding the deeper emotions uh, about things, circumstances uh, in this energy. So, yeah. Ooh, let's see what they want you, what they want from you on that one. Pop. Uh, they want you not to give up, to hang on. Yeah, money's tight, things like that. But not give up on them. And, oh, two of swords, that's coming out of comfort zone. That's also being at a crossroad. And have faith in them. Have faith in them. They're making hard choices. Two of swords is about making painful decisions. You, The choices you're choosing from is like one on this hand, one on this hand. And you don't like either one of the choices. It's like, it's uncomfortable. Don't know what to do. But your person is really hoping that you'll hold on and be patient with them and not give up. Um, with that four pentacles. Ooh, what else just flipped out while I was talking? We've got the overthinking everything, needless stress and anxiety with the Leo King of Wands. Leo King of Wands. Yeah, they are definitely passionate about the choices they're having to make and the concerns, whatever they're weighing out. It's both 
both of those things are important to them and it's like a conundrum form of if I don't do this, then then it's going to hurt in the long run. But if I do do it over here with my Pisces, it's going to hurt. It may hurt me in the long run. So they're they just being torn. Yeah. Let's get them to choose a deck. They want to give you a message from, please. Oh, you're getting love bombed. Yes, you are in a good way. The big guns. This is conversation with counterpart both sides of the deck. Come on, Pisces, their person. Bring it out. Oh, pop. They flying. Guys. We're under the same sky. Feel me there. Please trust me. My world is turning upside down. Ooh. Feels like it, don't it? I'm struggling to communicate how I feel. The intensity of this connection allures and frightens me. I'm closing out a painful cycle. I've loved you since before you knew. I love you beyond measure. Listen to your heart. I believe in happily ever after because of you. I'm going after that happily ever after because of you. No words can ever do this feeling justice. And last one, guys. The beauty of your soul takes my breath away. Ooh, Pisces. Guys, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I see you again next time. Bless be.